Hello, everybody. It's me, your good friend, Sparky. And there's more treasure to find in Dark Cloud. We got a fluffy donut. And we got a witch parfait. Very cool. Uh, before we go snacking, though, we've got some building we need to do here in Muskalaka. On Adventure Day 25, no less. We explored quite a few floors of the dungeon, and we can go ahead and... Sort of start adding more things in here. Let's see. First of all, we've got G-Boo-Boo. And let's see. He's got some stairs. And convenient for storing items. A cabin. Uh, We could do that, but Brooke asked for it first. Which does mean we do have an event at Brooke's house that we can go ahead and do. So, uh, let's do that, shall we? Ooh, more stuff. Gourd. Very cool. For some reason, a lot of items seem to be showing up fairly quickly around these parts. Took a while for things to really get going in Queens, which is interesting. Uh, on Ted Buster. Gotcha. Hi there. Aha, there you are. Today I have something I want to tell you. Come over here. When I first saw you, I knew right away who you were. You are the son of a war the warrior Aga. Am I? <laughs> Aga once came to Muskalaka. When I first saw him, I sensed something special in him. Aga was an amazing man. Something about him drew everyone to his side, just like you now. He fought well, especially with swords. He told me he was making a journey to find an amazing treasure. I don't know if he found it or not, but when he visited here again, he left the golem, Gosuke, here. You said you were on a quest to defeat the Dark Genie. Your father left you a tip for defeating him. <gasps> I think Aga knew this day would come. The entire purpose of his journey could have been for exactly that. I really believe that's true. I have faith in you. You can do it. Yes, I really do believe you can defeat the Dark Genie. Here, take this. An attack plus three. You shouldn't have. <laughs> and do I do ha have a stock of some items here. Not much, though. Take them on your adventure. Oh, but I have to charge you for them. I have to earn a living, you know. Take care. So long. Though, he does have a shop for us, which is nice. And some premium chicken lying around his house. Hope you weren't thinking about eating that. What do you have for sale? Uh, stone breakers, yes. Oh my god, thank you. You are my, you are my favorite villager. Let's just, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? <laughs> oh boy, I'm happy to see that. And he's got some other nice items too. That's, that's really cool, actually. This is a great shop. Go ahead and uh, just sell some things off while we're thinking about it. Could always do with some more premium chicken. There we go. And anything else I don't really need here? We'll get rid of that and that just to free up a little bit of room. But heck yeah, we finally have a place where we can get stone breakers. I knew we should be able to find them regularly around these parts. It only made sense. It is a desert, after all. There's a lot of sand and stuff. <laughs> Heck yeah, we'll be able to build this up in no time. Alright, but that's enough for in here right now, I think. And let's see. A little more to grab right here. Antidote amulet. Dino Slayer, very cool. And let's check inside here, see if anyone's home. Yes, indeed. Hi. Cheese! Bag is full, can't carry more. Ah. In that case, let's go ahead and use some of our items that we've got lying around. Increase the defenses and whatnot. There you go, Lana. A witch parfait for you. We've got one gourd. 
Uh, let's give this to Malin. Why not? Now what? We got Fruit of Eden. Also very good to have. Let's see. Next up in line for the Fruit of Eden, I think, should be Darunia. There we go. Also, hi. Well, I've never seen you before. Aha, I see. It's you, the boy here about stirring things up. My name is Jibubu. Pleased to meet you. Uh, hello. Muskalaka has a mystery that nobody can solve. I'll tell you the story some other time. Interesting. Any requests? Nothing in particular. Just keep the custom of the pole guardian. Ask the chief about the details. All right. Well, what will happen when it's done? We'll talk about the mystery of Muskalaka. Gotcha. And what do you need? Can you place the hay for the roof by the house? Oh, and don't forget about the totem. You got it. We'll go ahead and do that for you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, we can't quite complete this just... Actually, wait, we've got lots of the stone ca uh, storage cabins. Never mind. <laughs> I somehow overlooked that. Yay! <laughs> Oh, hello. Apparently we're immediately triggering the event by touching down here. <laughs> why? I don't understand. But why? Why? Oh. Hi there. Looking at my house return to normal, I just felt like screaming. <laughs> Say, why don't you come in? Going inside the home of a screaming man? Sure. I mean, we were just here. I really appreciate this. Thanks to you, I can live my ordinary life again. This is to show my gratitude. A fruit of Eden. How, how, how nice of you. I like that. I like that a lot. By the way, have you noticed something seems wrong here? The aesthetic sense they have here in Muskalaka is not very good. That Guonam is regarded as handsome and desirable. And I'm regarded as plain looking. Shouldn't they take a better look at me? I mean, come on. What is the definition of beauty, anyway? Does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is seen as beautiful by more people is beautiful. But wait, that means I am plain looking after all. No, that can't be! Ah, why? Aren't you supposed to tell us a mystery? <laughs> was, 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 that, was that the mystery you were speaking of? Hi? Is there an item in this world that increases one's beauty, I wonder? Oh, well, I do have something like that. It's the foundation! Oh, this is... It sure is amazing. So this is the famed foundation. I'll take it, thank you. Please accept this in return. And we get ourselves the clay doll. It's like a caveman's toy. But at your age, but, but at your age, at you are, at you are young age, you might like it. Okay, dots. Right then, I, Forget exactly what to do with the clay doll, but we should be able to make use of it. I'll look that up between episodes, I think. Um, yeah, it's finished. Apparently that was the mystery he was talking about. <laughs> okay. A bit on the odd side, but sure. And your house is sideways, so we'll just put you there for right now. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We got the three sisters house. Uh, middle child of the three sisters. So you go here, then. And let's go ahead and just put you down, I think. Hi. Hey, little boy. Hiya. I'm Devia, the middle sister of the three sisters. Nice to meet you. Hello. Have you met the, my two sisters? Don't think... Don't you think we're pretty unique? Everybody says that we have totally different personalities. I see. Uh, any requests? 
Well, I feel bad because Nagita always forces Mikara to go draw water. So could you put it put it near the oasis? Also, don't forget the pole guardian. Yep, yep. What will happen when it's done? Well, why don't you come visit us? Sure. And what do you need? Can you install a cabin? It's just for storage space, but it would really help. Gotcha. Undead Buster. Very good. Ice. They're also very good. Uh, let's go inside your... Well, well, we'll wait to go inside your house until we're done uh, building things for it. This might help out a bit. Uh, let's see. Can't really do anything else with the house right now. But again, we can go inside and raid things now. So that's very helpful. And she did request that we put the house near an oasis. Things! Cheese! Mage Slayer! Anything else? No? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there was a gourd hidden there. You sneaky gourds, you. Always hiding around corners. Oh, and we have to use this other uh, Fruit of Eden, too, actually. So we'll go ahead and use that. Um, da -da -da. 43 defense, 41 defense, so we'll use this on you. Neat. Ah, uh, let's see. Still, don't really have a heck of a lot to really work with. Um, we can do that, I suppose. That will get things going with that totem pole. As far as a totem pole completion is concerned. We can just place that right down there for now. A prison, sure. We'll go ahead and just put that down there. Why not? Ah, but there's a spider here. Okay, so... Fruit of Eden, in prison, okay. What did it do? What did it do to deserve that? Alright, so we've got the spider on the totem there. Also, Oasis. Grab that, sure, we got it. Um... Right, 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 right. Can't really do anything else right now. Okay. So, there's a spider here. It is the totem for the prison. And over on the big totem pole there, you may notice that there are three different totems here. Uh, the bottom of one looks a little suggestive, but we'll ignore that for right now. Um, go ahead and go to first person view. There's a spider at the very top of this totem pole. Uh, the big gimmick for Muskalaka, which does add some uniqueness to the area that the dungeon kind of lacks, is that you are supposed to line up the totem poles with the totems at the different houses. The totem on the pole is supposed to be facing the totem on the house in particular. So wherever we place down the prison, the spider totem at the top of the pole there has to face in that direction. It makes for um, actually putting this place together a bit on the tricky side. You really have to pay attention to where you're putting things and where houses are going. And the biggest thing to consider, um, at least a big thing to consider, is that uh, Gwonem's house here is locked in place. You can't move that, so wherever you end up placing the totem pole, you have to make sure you like kind of start from here and then work from there as far as uh, placing the other houses and things like that. We don't really have a lot to work off of yet, just because um, we don't have too many houses. We don't have the other, like, other totem poles ready or anything like that. Um, so we just, it, it's all like a whole big matching game that we need to pay attention to. And that's how we'll go about and, like, completing 
all of the requests and things like that for this area and getting it to 100%. We'll go ahead and just place down the oasis too, because why not? We can go fishing here if we want. And there's a couple more items scattered about here. Mighty healing, I'll take that. And bag is full, can't carry anymore. Uninteresting item name. We do have this other fruit of Eden we can use. So let's just go do that. And, well, it's another fruit of Eden. This... This is like a... This is, this is a very generous location, it seems. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? I can't increase... I can't increase your health past 140. Interesting. I kind of forgot some characters have limits. It would not let me increase Malin's health again. And I just kind of accidentally used it on Darunia in my confusion. But, uh... Huh. I suppose that's something else to pay attention to. I, I kind of forgot about that, really. Oh well. But, uh, I'd say we've spent enough time here in Muskalaka putting everything together. So let's head back to the Sun and Moon Temple, see if we can get at least one floor in uh, this way. Now we do have the back floor to explore still. A pretty heavy uh, story and event type of area there. Very cool. Let's see what we can find on level 8. First up, we have a fish. In a desert temple. Interesting. All right, get rid of you. Hi, how's it going? Get rid of you a little bit. Don't explode in my face, please. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate explosions in my face uh, at all. It's very rude. And there's just a lot of you here <laughs> trying to explode in my face. Found the exit already, but that doesn't do us any good. And we have a switch gate with this here log. There we go. And nothing in here but an atla, it seems. Okay, sure. I suppose that's fine. Ah, tree. Tree acquired, which goes to the oasis, I believe. It's different than the trees that you can get. Tree is different from trees, you see. And what else we got going on here? More bomb guys. This is apparently just a floor full of bomb guys. Oh, turn around, little kitty. As he so aggressively hops around and menaces us with his presence. Lucky for us, we seem to have found the back floor. So we can go ahead and explore that and show that off. Uh, got ourselves the map, which is very helpful. And there's one Atla in here. Grab that quick. Cool beans. Nagita acquired. Alright. So, now we can use the secret path key. Quicksand is churning. The coffin is about to drift away in the quicksand. Well, let's climb into the coffin. This seems like a good idea. Sailing through the quicksand into the back. And we arrive in the back floor of the Sun and Moon Temple. And this is going to be full of mimics, isn't it? My favorite. Fairly durable mimics, too. Oh, you are just breaking my sword. I don't really appreciate that. Might want to stick to long-range combat for right now. Let's go ahead and switch to Lana. It's actually pretty close to a uh, weapon level up. 
And yep, mimics. Oh, so much fun with the mimics and their nonsense. Stop. And platinum ring plus ones, things are full. Gotcha. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Upgrade. Now what else are we building up towards? What else, what else, what else? Um, I, I forget what direction I'm going in again with this. Uh, I cannot hold information in my head, apparently. Let me just check my notes real quick. We're going up. We're going on the upper path, which means we need to improve magic. And that's about it. They're MP. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Can, what, what can we improve MP with here? Do we have any just regular MP boosts? It doesn't look like it. Uh, do either of you improve MP? No, it appears not. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Um, hmm. I don't really have much to put on this right now then. Well, we are exploring around a back floor. Maybe we'll find some useful items as far as that's concerned. Like a holy gem. Except, no, because that's not really going to be helpful for us. Attachment bag is full. Darn. Hmm. Um, let's just put these in here for the moment to kind of free up some space. Plus, more endurance is always good. An ice. Also not fantastic, but all right. That's fine, I guess. Oh dear. And we have a sigil on the floor. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. Let us go ahead and keep doing what we were doing as far as uh, getting free weapon pluses for things. Nope. Never mind. Status of effect weapon changed. What does that even mean? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh well. That didn't end up working out. Which is unfortunate. Oh, what we got? Another holy gem. And... A Beast Buster, which actually is something we need for Balance Weapon here. That works out. Not quite to leveling up potential yet. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Uh, let's see. What else is here? Bag is full. A regular bag, not the attachment bag because we keep finding these dumb holy gems and things like that. Just go ahead and throw that out. Don't really need it. A power-up powder. Very nice. Glad I got that. Alright, let's see. Ah, more chests that are potentially mimics. Ah, we've got a uh, garnet. Okay. Of course, you are a king mimic. My... My body keeps wanting me to burp for some reason. <laughs> and it's cutting off my speech. <laughs> oh, jeez. Stop being so fast. I don't like it. Don't like it. Alright. What does the Garnet do? Let's find out. Garnet. Increases attack. Increases fire. And increases beast. Uh oh. That is... Uh, quite exactly what we need. Oh, and it also increases stone. Hmm. I... Th hmm. Hmm. I think it's more useful for this particular weapon. Because it does 
give us beast and fire, which we both need, but it also does increase stone, which I've been needing for a while. But we do have stone breakers that we can just buy now, so that's not of a big of as big of as big of a deal. Um Yeah, we'll leave it on this, actually. I think that's that seems like a good idea. Um now nah, we'll we'll leave it like that for right now. Okay, cool. Gives a little bit of more of an attack boost too, which I like. Oh, mimics. Fighting them with the slingshot is always a problem. Get out of here. Just to get out of here. I don't need you here. I don't need your hair. Stop hopping over my shots. Stop sliding towards me. What's your problem? <laughs> And bag is full again. Uh, just get out, get out of my inventory. Trans feather, always like those. Always, always a fan of those. All right, all right. Let's go ahead, race down this way. We've got things to do, people to see, more mimics to fight. We already have found a quite a few treasure chests, so I'm stop doing that, you creep. Freaking sliding around the ground while ducking like you're a freaking Super Mario Bros. character or something. Getting under a short gap. What's your problem? Oh no, my Drance feather broke. Good thing I've got more. Like this one that I just found. And yeah, considering we already found quite a few tr uh, actual treasure chests, I'm willing to bet the rest of these are going to be mimics. Which I'm okay with. They're providing decent uh, level up points. Oh no, we've actually got another treasure chest. Nice. A thunder gem. Whatever. And a mimic. Cool. Whatever, it's fine. Mimics are great, I guess. Sure, get out of here. Give me your money. And that'll do it for the back floor then. So let's head back to the regular floor and finish that off before the episode's up. Take another ride in the coffin. The transportation coffin. Good thing the quicksand reversed direction. And we can very easily make our way back to the main floor. Oh, hello, Mr. Blair. I do not like your face. Go away. And Bomberhead. Back is full. <laughs> I'm willing to bet it's just a bomb, but I need to know. I need to know. There, we'll use a rep repair powder. Why not? Yep, it's just a bomb. Uh, did I need that bomb? I really didn't, but it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> we never found the magical crystal, so now all the enemies are back in unknown locations. And I do not think we had this king slate yet either. Which means... Uh, getting out of the dungeon might take a short bit still. So many dudes. So many dudes. Get out of here. You're not going to be shooting fire at my kitty cat. No siree. No siree, Bob. Alright, got this. Hi, how are you? How's your mother? We got Mikara. Okay. Might as well switch back to Kitty. This seems like a pretty good place to have ranged weaponry. Considering of all the things blowing up in our faces. And plus, after finding that Garna, I'm pretty confident we can maybe, hopefully, uh, get her weapon to the next level pretty soon. 
Uh, upgrade. Heck yeah. And let's see. Build up. We just need beast now. Okay. Would that happen to be enough? No. Not quite. And now we're at a situation where we need beast breakers. I might have a couple more lying around in storage that I can check. Huh. We're almost there, though. I, I, we're, 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 we're getting to that point. Um, items are full. Just get rid of this. Just get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Revival powder, very useful. Definitely ate through those with our recent boss fight. A lot of Mr. Blairs all simultaneously guarding like freaks. Do you mind? Your synchronized actions, I do not approve of them. Stop guarding. Stop. Stop it. And pack is full. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Might need to do some inventory cleanup and things just to kind of free up space. And you're the magical crystal, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, there's a couple more guys scattered about that we can go fight if we really want to, but it's not necessary. We're gonna have to fight one of them on the way. Um. And you know what, the other one's right there. Let's just go fight them. <laughs> Let's just keep fighting. Why not? Got the rest of the Atla. And we'll go ahead and just take care of these last dudes. Because, yeah, sure. Hey, Mr. Blair. You and your hopping backwardsness. And you, up here. Another Mr. Blair? I'm gonna fight ya. You're gone. Hey yo. We're good. And I think that's gonna be good for this episode. Inventory's full. Ended up spending a lot of time exploring back rooms and uh, building up uh, the village a bit. So I think that's going to be a good place to call it for right now. Thank you very much for watching The Dark Cloud. This is your good friend Sparky. Gonna hang out here with Gwonam and Theo. Gotta, gotta get right lined up. Yeah, there we go. Look at us three. Hanging out in the desert. Being all sad and depressed. Neat. Anyway, yeah. That's gonna be it for right now. Thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky signing off. And I'll catch you next time. with more eerie sounds of the desert to keep us company. Spooky.